Hey Troopers, good morning. Oh, I thought I'd give you a quick update on what's happening with Pete's Powerwall. DIY Tesla Powerwall, HB Powerwall, whatever you want to call it, doesn't really matter. So, um, I've just finished testing the next lot of cells. Those are still for sale if anybody wants them. Not that I've really tried very hard to sell them, but there's another 30 packs of those um, brown or gold or whatever you call them that I will not be using. Um, there's not too many good ones. Well, not, not too many that I would use, but there's some 20s. What's that one? 21. 19, 19, 19, 19. I think they're all 18s in that one and 17s in that one. So there is a few good ones in there, but I'm not even gonna bother testing because none of them come out above 21. Well, one come out above 21. But if anybody wants them, let me know. I'm rambling. Right, look at this. This is the last lot we've got sorted. 25, 23, 24. So we've got some good numbers there. Let's go and turn all these on. And I borrowed this off Rowan, which allowed me to do a couple of hundred per day, or a hundred per day. These are all my blues for the outside. Yeah, look at that one. Where is it? Very unprofessional with the old iPhone. So we've got some good numbers there. Um, we've got a couple of hundred. A lot of hundred sorted there so we've got this is the next this is the 40 kilowatt hour pack so we've got 7 8 9 10 11 12 or something sorted just got three more to get all this like all the cells and stuff will get all them sorted out and then i'll have the, the 40th kilowatt hour installed in a few weeks time the drawback is i don't actually have any space to install it so i've got to put a new shed in and financially negative at the moment so the new shed's not going in yet um some of the changes i'm going to make to this one i'm going to do fly jabberu's style bus bars i'm not doing my style bus bars anymore because i feel his are a lot better than mine um they're certainly quicker and cheaper um and and let's face it <laughs> quicker and cheaper is a good thing uh i'm also i've got all my new mounts made i think i've done some videos on these mounts Ugh! completely unprepared and I'm not doing much editing because I haven't got much time it's too hot and my computer keeps shutting down blah 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 all the new mounts are rounded we've got the old mount here yeah. put them side by side so you can tell get some light so it just looks a little bit more professional being rounded uh, than squared off and the same with that end so looks much nicer and that is my sparky's idea um, just out of interest to this here on this one is one millimeter longer to allow the heat shrink to sit on this a little bit nicer well it actually allows heat shrink to sit on it period um, so yeah new mounts are made I've already sold eight of these mounts I've got I kept myself two so I've got the random mounts there um, and that's gonna that's going to do out my um, my 40th kilowatt hour pack. If I end up changing the shed, I might actually go from 7 across to 14 across and make one big mount um, just for space and see if I can do it tidier. And as I've, I've talked about before, I'll put a, a 4 centimeter gap in there rather than a 2 centimeter gap and try and do some sort of blast shield idea on the next version of it because I, I do like that idea, I really do. Um, also another safety thing that I'm doing, now I've done it on some packs in the past, but not all of them. These three cells here, now I do have heat shrink. The heat shrink's there. And basically that literally just slides straight over there. And or, and this is not gonna happen on camera. There you go. Slide straight over there, you just cut it down and shrink it on. Um, all these here have been heat shrinked, double heat shrinked in fact. And some of the bottom cells I've actually heat shrinked over the top. Uh, moving forward what I'm going to do is I've got heaps of older cells. Not older cells, lower capacity cells. Um, so what I'm going to do is clean those cells up just so they look the part. And then what I'm going to do is um, 
put them in the old Jehu light, which is still on, which I should turn off, and dead flat them, and then short them out. Um, so the cells themselves have no energy potential whatsoever. And then I'm actually going to run those with these three cells here that come direct contact with all the weight on them. I'm just going to run with um, completely dead cells. So there's no chance of short to ground because I have had a short to ground before that I had to fix and that was a nightmare. Um, finding it, I had to pull packs apart and whatever else. But that's part of the process, isn't it? So, uh, fly jabber is bus bars. These three cells here aren't even going to be connected. And also, I'm double fusing. Now, a lot of people said, why are you double fusing? Well, I'm double fusing uh, because um, Mr. Feynman had the issue, Rowan had the issue where one of his packs went up and it was it was a silly mistake um, but it would have been prevented if it had had double fuses um, even though it wasn't in use or anything else it was just general handling but I'm still going to do that anyway and let's face it it's not um, it's not going to hurt your average Joe has done a lot of uh, work with fuses lately and basically I have sent him this is my fuse wire and that is 0 0.04 millimeter winding wire. It's enamel coated, so I've had to burn the enamel off. Um, I'll link below, but there's a video that I did testing that, and that blew at about in between four and six amps. This is the new wire I'm going to use, and it's 0 0.02, I think, millimeter. I think I don't, I'm not sure, um, but that's the new winder, the new uh, fuse wire that I'm going to use because I don't have to burn it off. But I've sent copies of that over to your average Joe. Link below, link here. Link here. Go and check out his channel. Um, he's doing some good things with adding 650s as well. And a bunch of, and I think a bunch of us is gonna actually send over our um, our fuse wire and hopefully with one person doing the tests, we're gonna get a better idea. It's still not the perfect way of doing it. But I think it's, you know, it, it's going to be fun, isn't it? So, yeah, I've all, 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 well, well, where am I up to? Don't even know where I'm up to. Um, these cells here will basically represent the 50th kilowatt hour pack. Um, so they're all the cells for the outside for the 50. I don't have the cells for the inside yet, but I guess they'll come with time. Got to return that to Roland. Hey guys, so over on the forum we've got DIYPowerWalls.com um, and I'd like to publicly thank Mike for all of his awesome help with this forum, getting stuff done, um, entertaining my stupid requests and the like. Without you buddy, uh, this, this, this forum would be somewhere in the back left hand corner of the dark web and it would still suck. So thank you mate, I definitely owe you about 10 million. Okay, one of the really cool things I wanted to show you that Mike has implemented is um, it's this the forum's inter, in, it, ability to upload photos and stuff now. It's a lot better than it was before. So if we go to say DIY Powerwall Builds, click there, and we click on my HP Powerwall official thread, and of course that contains all my information. Um, if anybody's interested with photos, high resolution photos, my diagrams, the stuff that I've used within my project and all of this stuff is linked to Amazon for my Alf Amazon affiliate code so I try and make a little bit of money from it so I could appreciate if you use that. Um, it's got my mounts for, well my mounts, my new the new version with the rounded corners, all the dimensions and stuff like that. If you'd like to make and use that I would like a donation please just so you know because this cost me $275 just to get the first one done and then all the subsequent ones and all the, the remakes and stuff like that. Um, I've got a whole bunch of photos, high resolution photos, so you can actually see what they what they, what they they turn out like. Um, the software that I've used, printer gear, if you can add anything to the printer gear, that'd be great. Um, a few questions there, obviously. What have we got on the next page? I didn't realize there's two pages. Anyways. So a couple of questions and all that sort of stuff here. But one of the cool things is if you hit new reply now, um, you can do your reply. This is a test. There we go. And my computer's slow, but that's fine. 
we got this new bit here where we can drop files. So instead of actually having to um, go down the bottom here, which is a standard way of doing it, click on choose a file, and then you go somewhere, and then you choose your file, then you upload it, then you've got to insert it. It's a little bit arduous. What Mike has done is implemented the drag and drop. So if I've got a whole heap of files here, and I think there's a 15 megabyte limit um, that may actually exceed 15 megabytes. So we'll just do um, we'll just do two files. All you do, drag them and literally drop them. It uploads the files directly to the server. It resizes the files for you automatically. Well, for me actually, so it saves bandwidth on the forum, and then inserts them into the page which is bloody fantastic and I love it and it's easy and it's quick and it's convenient so have at it guys upload to your heart's content um, one of the reasons why this didn't happen before is because I was concerned about it filling up with um, um, what do you call it data and, and not being able to afford the bandwidth um, but that's not a problem anymore so that is done oh there's two there there we go so you so you can just lay them out you post reply and then they are there thumbnailed up and and resized and away they go so thanks again mike for doing that uh, mike's also selling his battery holders up here if you click there it takes him to his listing to uh buy them cheaply out of the us so tubers thanks very much for tuning in i hope this is a good enough um update for you and there are some pretty cool little things to come to this project. Hopefully that pans out in the next few weeks. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.